So uh, in this exam review video, I'm going to do uh, crossover points. I was asked to just review it quickly, uh, and particularly how I, in the in-class example, ruled one technology out right away. So right here, I have four technologies. Fixed and variable costs. One, two, three, four, ten thousand and ten, forty thousand and eight, thirty thousand and seven, and fifty thousand and six. So I look at those, and, and the other information you need is you expect to produce. 25,000 units, which technology should you choose? Well, in this circumstance, uh, you look and uh, you know that Technologies with lower fixed costs and higher variable costs uh, will be cheaper early in the uh, in, or at lower quantities, and ones with higher fixed costs and lower variable costs will be cheaper later because your your per cost unit goes down as you spread that fixed cost over more units. In this circumstance, I'm going to rule out number two right off the bat. And that's because uh, if I compare 2 to 3, uh, fixed cost is 30,000 for 3, it's 40,000 for 2. Variable cost is $7 per unit for 3 and $8 per unit for 2. In this circumstance, 2 will never be cheaper than three for any quantity. Right, so if I were to draw it, here is uh, three at 30,000, and then it would go up at an angle like that, which is seven dollars, roughly, and and two is here at 40,000 and goes up at a higher rate so then the lines get further apart so there is never a time that two is the cheapest option so just looking at it and comparing it to the other ones I can say specifically that number two I'm going to ignore entirely so let's then do crossovers uh, I pick my crossovers uh, based on ascending I'm going to come back to this so uh, I have three technologies one three and four uh, and that could mean that I have to do three crossover points but I know that I can pick them in ascending order of fixed costs so 10,000 30,000, 50,000, because I'm not worried about the other points, the other crossovers, because they're, I know this is going to be the cheapest one until uh, this, until we get far enough along that this one is cheaper, and it'll be the cheapest one in the middle until we get far enough along that these get cheaper. So the, the lower the variable cost, the cheaper it gets per unit as you get further out, as you produce higher quantities of units. So the first crossover so crossover one is technology one and technology three and then I just equate them to find the point where their costs are the same so ten thousand plus 10Q is equal to 30,000 
plus 7q. So 3q, I just subtracted, and I subtracted, is equal to 20,000. Q is equal to 6,667. That means from 0 to 6,667, uh, technology 1 is cheaper, and then beyond 6,667, technology 3 is cheaper. So then I go to crossover 2, and that will be between tech 3, right? I'm not going to look at 1 versus 4, because I know that one uh, 4 is still more expensive than uh, then one all the way past 6,667. So I'm just looking at the another one. So then I got 30,000 plus 7Q is equal to 50,000 fixed cost plus variable cost times Q. Crossover point is the point at which is the volume or the quantity that they're the same. And in this case, Q is equal to 20,000. So I can then say from 0 to 6667, technology 1 is cheapest. From 6667 to 20,000, tech 3 is cheapest. And from 20,000 and higher, tech 4 is cheapest. So in this, therefore, in this case, for 25,000 units, pick technology four. Pretty simple, straightforward rule for ruling out a ruling out a, a technology. Uh, pick them in ascending order, uh, and then look. If the question says, for the quantity 6,667, what would technology would you choose? You would say, I would choose either technology 1 or technology 3 uh, at exactly that quantity, and then I would then narrow it down depending on what, how confident I was in, in the sales numbers. If I thought they were conservative, I'd pick technology 3 because it's higher. If I thought they were too aggressive and I might not make them, I would pick technology 1. So the crossover point, I would argue, is a relatively straightforward uh, concept uh, and uh, I think there we've covered it effectively for you.